Girl Scouts, Brianna here. I am the Southeast Wyoming Recruitment Manager for the Girl Scouts of Montana and Wyoming. And I am so excited to share with you some fun facts about one of my most favorite individuals from history, Juliet Gordon Lowe. As many of you know, Juliet Gordon Lowe founded Girl Scouts of the USA in 1912. Today, Girl Scouts serves millions of girl members and alumna and reflects the arc of her remarkable life. An ardent believer in the potential of all girls and the importance of fostering their individual growth, character, and self-sufficiency, Juliet is credited with establishing and nurturing a global movement that has changed the world. And today, we're going to learn a little bit more about her history and the beginnings of Girl Scouts. Juliet Gordon was born on October 31st, 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. She was known as Daisy and descended from a long line of strong and independent women. Her home is a registered National Historic Landmark and you can even visit her birthplace in Georgia. Juliet was a sensitive, curious, and adventurous girl known for her sense of humor, her compassion, and her concern for others. She was interested in athletics, the arts, animals, and nature, all attributes that would one day become central to the Girl Scout movement. And did you know that as a child and a young adult, she experienced several ear injuries resulting in almost total hearing loss that affected her for the remainder of her life? Let's learn a little bit about the birth of the Girl Scouts. A meeting in 1912 with Sir Robert Baden Powell, the founder of Boy Scouts, inspired Juliet to establish Girl Scouts that same year. Telephoning a cousin from her home, she announced, I've got something for the girls of Savannah and all of America and all the world, and we're going to start it tonight. Juliet Gordon Lowe envisioned an organization that would prepare girls to meet their world with courage, confidence, and character. From that first gathering of a small troop of 18 culturally and ethnically diverse girls, Juliet broke the conventions of time, reaching across class, cultural, and ethnic boundaries to ensure that all girls, including those with disabilities, had a place to grow and develop their leadership skills. She wanted them all to explore new possibilities and the wonders of the world around them. And she wanted them to do it together. Along with Juliet Gordon Lowe, these first Girl Scouts blazed trails and redefined what was possible for themselves and for girls everywhere. They played basketball, they hiked, swam, and camped. They learned to tell time by the stars, and most importantly, they shared a sense of adventure and a belief that they could do anything. And just like Girl Scouts do across the country and around the globe, they offered a helping hand to those in need and worked together to improve their corner of the world. Using her innate talent for fundraising and public relations, combined with her vast network of friends and supporters, Juliet led Girl Scouts with passion and determination, ensuring it was and always would be an experience that was girl-led. Juliet Gordon Lowe died January 17, 1927, at her home in Savannah, Georgia, after a long and private struggle with breast cancer. Juliet Gordon Lowe is remembered nearly a hundred years after her passing with camps, schools, and scholarships all established in her honor. Other tributes include a postage stamp, numerous biographies, and even an opera about her life and achievements. She was also awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama in 2012. Today, the vision of Juliet Gordon Lowe lives on in Girl Scouts like you and me across the nation and the globe who carry on her legacy. She is remembered and honored by generations of people whose lives have been touched by Girl Scouts. 
That small gathering of girls that Juliet Gordon Lowe hosted over a century ago has grown into a global movement in which all girls can see themselves reflected. Today, that includes 2.6 million Girl Scouts and over 800,000 adults in 92 countries and more than 50 million alums, all united across distance by decades of lifelong friendship, shared adventure, and the desire to do big things and to make the world a better place. Thank you so much for joining me today as we learned a little bit more about Julia Gordon Lowe and the history of Girl Scouts. I hope you learned at least one new fun fact today, and now I have a challenge for you. In the PDF handouts for this video, you will find a handout for Flat Juliet. My challenge to you is to print out Flat Juliet, color her however you want, and then take her with you whenever you go exploring. Are you going to the park, a museum, are you going camping? I know we're still a little bit restricted on what we can do right now, so even if you're at home on the couch watching a movie with Juliet, be sure to take a picture and have your parents tag us on social media with the hashtag at GSNW or hashtag Girl Scouts of Montana and Wyoming.